Good evening, everybody. I'm Pierre Rabers, the Daily Trader. It is December 20th, and we are going to take a look at Tesla stock from a technical analysis perspective. My goal in doing these videos is to help you understand how you can use technical analysis to make better trading and investing decisions, but I am not a financial advisor, so please do your own research and make your own decisions. Okay, so Tesla is uh, continuing down. We closed at 899.94, down 32 bucks and 63 cents. That's 3.5 percent. Post market, we are up two bucks almost. So let's look at what we have on the screen. We had the gap. We had the gap, and we filled the gap. We filled the gap, but as I mentioned on Sunday and maybe last Friday, the the support was still at 899. So even though we had a gap that we had the high on, we had the high at 910. So the gap started at 910 until the low here at 944. This was not really the real support that we needed to look at. The real support that we needed to look at was at 899.04. And basically this is uh, what Tesla did. We closed at 899.94. So the big question right now is, what is Tesla going to do? So we have been into a downtrend since, since December 1st. So since December 1st, this is the trend. The trend is down. The stock is going down, sometimes up, sometimes down, sometimes up, sometimes down. So while the stock is in a trend, don't buy the stock. Let's just wait until that downtrend is over until we buy the stock. Do we know when this is going to be over? No, nobody knows when, nobody knows when, but when it's going to happen, we are going to see it. So I cannot tell you it's going to happen in two days, in five days or in 18 days, but I do a video every single day and I will tell you on the day it happens. I don't know when it's going to happen, but I will be there on the day it happens. I'm going to tell you, we have broken this resistance. We closed above it. I will tell you that. This is what I am here to do. I am not here to read a crystal ball because nobody can. I am here to just observe what the stock is doing and tell you about potential trend changes. There, the speech is over. Let's go see the one hour chart. So on the one hour chart, we had been using 930 as a support since December 14th, but we never broke this resistance for good. We broke it during this candle here, but we closed below. We opened today just below 930 and we just uh, hugged 900 bucks. We hugged that number 899.900. This is pretty much the same number. So we just hugged it, hugged it, hugged it all day long. Quite a boring day, actually. If we go back to the DD chart, let's look at our indicators. The indicators are there to tell us, to uh, give us some context as to what has been happening. We know that uh, Tesla has been in a downtrend. And if we see an indicator that tells us otherwise, maybe that's an indication. Maybe that's a clue that maybe something is going to happen soon. This is why I look at the indicators. So right now, uh, stochastic is still trending down. It's at two, super low. RSI is still trending down. MACD trending down. And DMI is also bearish. So DMI, this is a nice indicator that you can rely on. The way to interpret it is when you have the green line going above the red line, that's a buy signal. And if you have a red line going above the green line, that's a sell signal. This is how you can use it. And uh, with, with stochastic, if stochastic goes over 60 in this green zone, this means that this is a buy signal. If it goes below 60, that's a sell signal and so on. So these are the indicators that are giving buy and sell signals based on their calculation that is behind. And I am using that to put some context into what is happening within the stock. But what is most important are the support lines and the resistance lines.
I thought the preaching mode was over, but I guess it was not. Now what we need to check, because we have touched this support right here, which is the support of the second channel of Tesla, we need to watch this. It's possible that Tesla bounces on that support like it did so many times. Look at this here. Last year in July, last year in September, last year in November, this year in March, this year in March, it bounced on that support very often. But it also bounced on that lower first channel support, March 20th last year, March of last year, April, blah, blah, blah. And also this year, May, June, July, blah, 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 blah. We bounced on this. So there is a possibility and we are going to know when it happens. There is a possibility that we bounce here and there is a possibility that we go down and bounce here. Those are the possibilities. So let's just wait and see what the stock does. And if we see that it bounces here and we want to go long, then we can get in and buy some stocks by a call. If we see that the stock is going down to 815 or so and starts to break this resistance, then we buy at this point here. So technical analysis is pretty easy. We buy when the stock breaks a resistance. It's basically as simple as that. That's it. We could speculate, we could say that Tesla will bounce. Yes, it's going to bounce eventually when, I don't know, but it's going to bounce eventually. Let's just remove all of the hype and the congestures and everything. And let's just wait until we break this resistance. That's it. That's all. I am not usually this mad, but this needed to come out. Truth sometime needs to come out. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. You can become a YouTube member. You can click on my Trading View affiliate link. I'm going to wish you a great evening. We are going to talk tomorrow. And I'm going to tell you la prochaine.